me so tough And I don't wanna take a trail in the world But I go love you Yeah, I'm gonna love you I'll give you the world Of what I've got The fans and fans, baby, I have not It's gonna love you In last week's episode we did a really lovely sail 24 hours across to the Spanish resort of Al Marimar. The sun's out, sea's lovely, what more could we want? This week however, well we need to tidy the boat up, get some chores done and then hopefully catch up with some good friends for dinner. So it is chores day on board Ruby Rose today. We are doing all of the chores that we've been putting off for some time. So that means that we are cleaning, we're doing a lot of cleaning. Um, we've just taken the laundry over to the little laundromat uh, across the road, very handy. Um, so that will be done by this evening and we're filling up the water tank so we can do all the cleaning inside. And Nick is going to scrub the outside of the boat as well as change over I think um, the block on the jib. So we've got boat chores today, it's a boat day today and uh, yeah. I'm just closing the window so that when Nick washes the cockpit, we don't get a sodden bed. <laughs> so before it gets too hot, I'm going to do all the chores outside. Um, because we have sailed close to Africa, the boat yet again is covered in red dust. Mm. Every time I put water on it, like everything runs red. So this morning, I'm going to just wash the back of the boat, wash the cockpit out. Just doing general chores. We've taken our laundry to be done, so that's good. Uh, so no, I know that you know having a washing machine on a boat would be a massive luxury for us, but I also like the decadence of going to a laundry, and it's relatively cheap. Yes, well, that's right. I and mean, some, you know, the laundry comes back folded and cleaned yeah. and like job done. It, we do. We have a washing machine. It's just that there's nowhere to dry this. The no, clothes. but I mean like a full on, like you a see, like dryer. a proper proper washer dryer, like bigger yeah. boats have. Anyways. Yeah. So yeah, so laundry to do is being done. I'm gonna get the boat clean. I've also got um, to change out one of the blocks or the block on our self-tacking jib. Um, there's a, it's difficult to explain, but Why don't you show us? the block on our self-tacking jib, which is a much bigger version of this, but the same. There's these little blue tabs on um, Lumar blocks. And when you've moved them into the up position, it stops the, the block from rotating against the shackle. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is that our blocks, the one of the cheeks snapped off it. The cheek? The cheek. This is a cheek. This is, this is a cheek, this plastic bit here. Okay. So the cheek snapped like this one did. Yeah. And it took the little tab with it, which means that the block rotates. Yeah? Yeah. Now you think, oh, okay, so what? Mm -hmm. But what happens is when the sail um, tacks or flogs, this spins which means that our self-tacking jib furling uh, our sheet twists itself, turns itself into a, like a little spiral. Mm -hmm. And it only takes one or two rotations. So it only takes one 360 degree rotation, which takes very little for the, sh to, for the, sh uh, the sail to then be unfurlable because the twist stops the sheet from releasing. So we can't furl it. And three times mid-Atlantic, we're like, oh, our furl is jammed. And it took us to the third attempt to work out that it was actually the twist in the sheet that was causing the problem. So on looking at it, we did a little bit of fix of a kind of fixed mid-Atlantic, but we just need to swap the block out. Um, uh, and yeah. may I ask you a very important question? You can ask me any questions you want, as long right. as it's not about, yes. Why are you cuddling your pillow? I don't know, sometimes I feel alone. <laughs> <laughs>
body plan, not to me. Well, we've been here, what, three days now? Yeah. And we have a choice tonight. We do? We can go out and party, uh. or we can sit and watch YouTube videos. What do you want to do? Well, we have sat and watched YouTube videos the last two nights, don't worry. But we like, watching YouTube, we like watching YouTube videos, don't we? I love watching YouTube videos, but I very rarely have the internet to do it. All right, so, okay, well, let's, uh, let's toss a coin and then see what happens, eh? Okay. All right, later. The sailing life exposes you to many beautiful things in our world and expands your understanding of exotic cultures and diverse destinations. Arriving in a place by water gives you a unique perspective. <laughs> so I've had, I've had dinner. <laughs> there you go. Our friends, our friends have magically appeared. Is this my magic? Using YouTube. Yeah, thanks for being patient with Nick's um, very questionable <laughs> magic trick. Wait till I've edited it all out. It will be amazing. Anyway, it's fantastic to have our friends Paul and Cheryl here. We haven't seen them for two years. That's right. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, We've met up in various places. From Las Palmas the first time, mm -hmm. down to... BVI, we've seen St. Lucia, Lucia. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then the BVI. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. sure we haven't caught up the last little while. Yeah. So no, it's no, to get to well, no, we saw so. each other in Annapolis. Yeah, that's right, of course, right. we did. Yeah. And then we saw your boat there in Lagos, and you deserted her, left her alone know, down in Lagos. We were enough. so excited, we thought we'd meet you there. But. Yeah. Oh, the boat was such a, she, she was filthy, wasn't she, when we came back? Yeah. But anyway, we've seen my fault. No, 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 no. We just looked at it. Well, you've seen their amazing new boat, and it's it's a pretty awesome piece of kit. It is very beautiful. So anyway, this is our evening. We're going to sit and have a few beers. We're not going to discuss YouTube or anything else. No political stuff. And we'll catch up later. So we're here with Paul and his beautiful, Hello, beautiful new boat. Um, we obviously turned up slightly unprepared as we always do. Cheryl's kind of like... <laughs> madly. You're madly sort of getting things sorted out. But beautiful mm. boat, tell us about it. Distant Chores 3 is a Southerly 480. First new Southerly built in years. three, four years. Yeah. So 48 feet long and she only draws three feet. So Fantastic. Super shallow draft, but right now with the keel down, we're drawing 10 foot three. Ooh, brilliant. So she sails pretty great upwind so far. We've yep. only done about... I don't know how many miles we've done. How many miles have we done? Something like. Hey, that's hey. Yeah, sorry if we're kind of like no. crashing the party. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Cheryl. Yeah, yeah we're just talking about your beautiful new, new boat. Uh, yes, yeah. We're just thrilled with it. Yeah. yeah. We're still finishing setting her up, but mm -hmm. we get the solar panels on in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. so we have a solar and then we'll have our proper bimini. Right now, we just have a temporary one. Yep. yep. And our first time to try in mass furling, which has been working great so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loving that. We're doing a yeah. lot more sailing because of it, because it's so easy to reef in and out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get on that next boat. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Not sailing today, though. No. No, no wind today. But we're in Spain, there's beautiful anchorages. Absolutely. Looking forward to doing some swimming and nice. snorkeling. Yeah. All right, shall we have a look on board? And, yeah, uh, please enjoy. Enjoy. welcome. Thank you. So this cockpit is awesome. Yeah, it's very it's really spacious. Nice. Yeah, safe we, size. We yeah, we have a lot of guests on board, and it's so nice. This cockpit is big, roomy. Um, it's good, solid table to grab onto, and mm -hmm. this is really nice footrest. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. What's the breakfast? Uh, frittata. Very nice. Oh wow. Mm. Yes, we're getting spoiled. Our Absolutely. guests are all good cooks. Yeah. And um, the galley is actually one of the features I love best on this boat mm -hmm. because it's a nice U shape, which is very safe at sea. Um, it's a little drop down, different level, so it gives you places to brace your feet. You're out of the traffic flow, right near the cockpit, so there's lots of ventilation, and whoever's in the galley is part of the conversation up there still. Mm-hmm. 
Fantastic. And the saloon is obviously a, like a raised saloon? Yes, yeah, because the swing keel comes up under the floor, mm -hmm. we have the raised saloon. And again, that's another great feature because no matter what the weather, we can see outside. Yes. Lots of brightness and air. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Fantastic. You can always see what's going on. Yeah. Just coming in to anchor beside you. <laughs> you don't have to stand like this. You have to put your head out of the yeah. uh, companion yeah, way like we exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Not this uh, table folds out. Okay. And it drops down to a bed. Okay, that's we've handy. We've got all six of us here at the table. Mm -hmm. and again, we can sit here and yep. see the world outside. Yep. Beautiful woodwork. We mm. love joinery work that yes. Discovery Yachts does. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. So, Paul, obviously this now station is uh, nice and high up. It gives you really yes, good visibility. Yes, forward views. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good views. You could, the plan is you can steer with the autopilot sitting yeah. here and yeah. see around. Just kind of yeah. scooch up a little bit and see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Spend my coin for sure. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. This is our forward guest cabin. Yeah. And it's a fabulous cabin. It's very wide, it's king size at this end, and there's all kinds of storage and drawers underneath which make it convenient. You don't have to dive head under the mattress. This is the main cabin stateroom, mm -hmm. and uh, again, very comfortable, easy to get out either side. And we love these tri yeah. windows, especially for an anchor. You wake up and you're right by the water. Yeah, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, a tour of an absolutely brand new Southerly Discovery from the factory. Beautiful, beautiful boat. Super happy to see. Paul and Cheryl, and super happy to see actually their boat. Really lovely, very, very different beast to this. I like this boat, the way this space is done. The deck saloon, I'm kind of like, it's a, it's a personal choice. I think you get more interior saloon space here, but that boat, absolutely divine. Super expensive, super beautiful, super well built, as all Southerlies are. Anyways. That's that, we better get on with sailing our little boat, haven't we? So yeah, we better get on and do some serious sailing up the Spanish coast. So, really nice day, and as I said, really lovely to catch up with good friends of ours now. So, on with some sailing. Join us next week as we continue our journey along the Spanish coast. We fly the Code Zero as the wind's so light, catch some fish for our dinner, and then we find a very, very serene anchorage where we anchor for the night. All perfectly idyllic in this amazing Spanish location. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. Cheers, bye. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else.